Mr. Toad. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope. I haven't seen her. Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to me, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and, uh, they're gonna string me up, Big Me. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lap dog. Sniffing around this place, rich fucks in the woods need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. <gasps> Are you... okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something...
please. Please. I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. We have to go, now. What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. He was involved, definitely. That much we can tell from his babbling just must have had some sort of accomplice. I'm actually not so sure about that. You don't think he's involved? He was with me whenever the... Uh, whenever she was left at the stairs. Yes, but all that means is he didn't do it alone. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Dwelling on this shit isn't helping. Well, I apologize if my attempt at handling this has disturbed you, Bigby. But I thought we had some common ground. Let's get something straight here, all right? We have exactly nothing in common. Everything that connects us is dead and gone. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. As I came down the Bowery, a million I met a maid who 
progress of my trade, Sailor John, said I. And away, you Santee, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve It's a- hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. (sighs) Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right, but we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Whenever you're ready, Sheriff. Two nights ago, after we went out the window, I didn't see where you ran off to. Got an alibi? For the time Faith was murdered? Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? We must do whatever it takes to find the killer. Yes. I just want to talk, see what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Though it's ultimately up to you, of course. Where'd you go, huh? After we uh, fought? Nowhere! I went nowhere! Woody, where'd you go? Got an alibi? Come on, Big B. You have other options. Use them. It's obvious he's not giving anything up this way. What's he doing? What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Now, you want to tell me where you went that night? I went to the Trip Trap. Ask anyone there. I didn't kill her. Sheriff. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You you took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing.
nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. I have... I have to take a piss, I think. Where was Snow supposed to be? We can't leave until you talk. If you don't start talking, and I mean fast, you'll pray to any god who'll listen that your mother never shit you into this fucking world. It's not worth all that. Fuck. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about it. Just a waste of fucking time. Snow wasn't supposed to be where? Where was she supposed to be? I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. Ow! Fucking Christ, I'm tied up here! Fuck! Big B? It'll be hard to justify this level of... brutality is all I want to point out. I know you're upset about Snow, but- I'll handle this. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The whore! And the rest of it is my own personal business, dog! So untie these straps and let me out! Tell us specifically who you're talking about. What whore? Faith, alright, that's it. Faith! This pup here knows. Faith? This has to do with faith? Someone else was supposed to show up and this bitch I don't even know comes over. Who were you expecting? No damned idea. What was the plan? Who's behind this? You're really enjoying this, aren't you, Wolf? Who did you want to show up and why? What was this about? What were you up to? Faith shouldn't have been there? Who should have? It's not important. What did you want to happen? Who was supposed to show up? Woodsman, you've got to talk to me, because Crane and Bluebeard, they think you're shit. But you think I don't know what that feels like, to be the bad guy? To know you're just trying your fucking best and to still get shit on day and night? Make it nice now. Is that, uh, is that it? And if you don't like what I have to say, then what, huh? Gonna hit me again? Cause I'm... I'm not buying it. Power tripping asshole. You're in control of what happens to you, Woodsman. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You answer the questions when I ask them, and this'll be an easy experience for you. But you fuck around, you whine, you pull a shit attitude, and the day will get considerably harder. Who were you expecting? Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap? Her sister's- Yeah. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please, don't don't tell anyone, Bigby. Gren and her, that whole bar, they just... They wouldn't understand. Well, congratulations, Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. You had the right idea earlier, but then softened up. We're never going to get anywhere just chatting with him. I really think it's going the best that it can. Then you have no imagination, I'm sorry to say. Because my best is a whole lot better than this. Find the door or shut the hell up. Or what? Because if today's events have been any indication, I have nothing to fear from your pitiful threats. 
Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! Snow White is dead. She was one of us, not one of them. You need to leave. <clears throat> now! <clears throat> <clears throat> What's going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? I'm the Sheriff Snow. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. If 
been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. Right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Pity these can't solve murders. Acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. That's enough. Uh, Mira, vanish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? Don't even get stoppy with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? The woodsman may be a good-for-nothing drunk, but that don't mean you can just whack him around because you feel like it. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? 
You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> if someone saw you... Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No! <laughs> Did you hear anyone laughing? No! <laughs> Sheriff? Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing... at me. Bigby, he's frightened. Do you know whose voice it was? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> okay. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <clears throat> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Hey, Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. Mirror, mirror, show me Lily. And yeah, I think this rhyming thing is silly. Some things cannot be revealed. Once again, these lips are sealed. Figures. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. Okay, Mirror, can you see... where the fuck is Tweedledee? Mirror, Mirror, show me Holly the Troll, or uh, I'll throw you down a hole. No need for threats. Well, that 
that's appropriate. The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? I hope you can find what you're looking for. Beauty and Beast, always putting on a show for each other. Snow's perfume. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. This is... weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there. Like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. It looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. What are you doing? Only way to find out. J 
Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Still okay? I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Will you keep quiet? Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here.
deer. What does that mean? Oh. Is that... It's your hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? She looks like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's... Her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. That true, love? Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to- Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? 
I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Both of you, listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? Ah. Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grant, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right then. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. The copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. We don't know what's important yet. I mean, isn't that evident? She was killed for a brooch. Just next time clear with me, all right? Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh God, I'm sorry. Was probably about. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? To no. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. 
is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Holly, Lily's the best evidence we have right now. We can't surrender her body till I know it can't help the case anymore. This is really important to me. And the investigation is important to everyone. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. When you come back to the office, please try to make more of an effort with her. Just do it for me. It makes everything easier.